Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial. This guide will be useful to both DMs, GMs and players because if you want to run a modded game of Tailspire, both the GM and players will need to install the same mods on their own machines on their own copies of Tailspire. Now before we continue, I have to note that mods are not officially supported by Bouncy Rock Entertainment. If you have any questions about a particular mod, you'll have to ask in the modding community, probably from the mod maker themselves. A good place to start is the modding discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So the first thing we're going to do on this step-by-step -step guide is actually install Tailspire. I actually have had it installed for quite some time. As you can see, I've got just a couple of hours behind me on this one, uh, but I kind of figured for simplicity, I would just start fresh. So we're going to hit install. And once that's set up, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so once the install is complete, we're going to minimize Steam for the time being because we're going to be going back to that later. And we're going to take our game shortcut and just put it on the desktop just there. And then we're going to launch the game just to make sure it's all installed correctly. And there we go, that's all looking good. And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a new campaign and we're going to call this modding tutorial and we're just going to go in there just to make sure everything's fine which it is that's awesome okay so now that we know that's installed properly we're going to exit out of it and now we go get our mod manager now for this we're going to be using the r2 modman manager you can either go to google and search for r2 modman or you can check the link in the description, which will take you straight there. Now on the page, we'll find all the info about the manager, but the only one we're interested in right now is this manual download button. So we're going to click on that and download a zip file to our computer. And once the downloads complete, I've just put the file on our desktop here for a moment. We're going to extract it to the desktop. And then we're going to bring that one down here as well. And if we go inside, we can see that we have an exe file. So we're going to double click on that to install the mod manager. We're going to click next and we're going to leave everything default. Just click install. And after a few seconds, the installation is complete. And it's going to ask us if we want to actually run R2 Modman, which we're going to do. So we click finish. And then when the app opens up for the first time, it's going to ask you which game you want to mod. So we are going to go to the search bar at the top here and search for Tailspire. And then we're going to go over to Tailspire and we want to set this as default so that whenever we open up this mod manager in the future, it's always going to open up the Tailspire mods for us. So we'll click set as default. Then it asks us about user profiles. We can add multiple different users, but for our purposes, we're just going to stick with the default one. So we're going to do select profile. And then here is the interface. So you can see there's options on the left hand side for choosing which version of Tailspire you want to actually launch. You can choose the modded version once we've got mods installed or the vanilla version, which is just a plain unmodified version of Tailspire. And below that, you can see there's a tab for our installed mods. And once we've got some installed, there'll be a list here on the right hand side. Below that is a list of all the mods that are currently online to use in Tailspire. As you can see, it's quite a big list to say the least. So for this tutorial, we are going to add just one mod to show you how it's done. We're going to add the More Sizes plugin by HelloFox. And this will give the GM more size options for minis in the game so you can make them smaller or bigger. So all we need to do is we're going to click on the mod in the list and then some more options appear underneath it. We can download the mod straight away or we can view more details about it on its own web page. And we can also donate to the mod creator. So for today, we're just going to click straight away onto download. So then a window comes up telling us that we're about to download this version of the mod. We can choose different versions if we want. It also tells us if we need to download it with dependencies. Now dependencies are other mods and plugins that this particular mod needs to function correctly. So we're just going to click download with dependencies. And then a few seconds later, it's done. So then if we go to the installed tab, just above our online tab, 
we can see that it's now installed our More Sizes plugin here at the bottom and also a bunch of other mods that are required to make that one work. So now let's go to the top option in the Mod Manager window to open our modded Tailspire. So as you can see, we've got a console window that's open in the background. We've also got a copy of Tailspire that's running. And if you look to the side here, it'll actually say mods currently installed and then it lists all of the mods that we have installed. In our case, there's the Hollow Fox's More Sizes plugin and this one, the Set Injection Flag plugin, which is one of the dependencies. So let's go back to our campaign and test out our new mod. So for this particular mod, we need to place a mini, which we're just going to click the first mini we see like that. Then we close out all the windows. Now the functionality of each mod is accessed differently. You'd probably want to go to the more info uh, web page that each mod has. But for this particular mod, what we do is we right click, go to GM tools and then go to set size. And if we click on there, you can see there's a lot more size options available to us. So for giggles, we're going to set it to the biggest available option, which is 30 by 30. Click on that. And the little mini gets absolutely gigantically huge. So I think it's fair to say that that mod worked. So that's the basic steps on how to set up and install mods for Tailspire. Some mods may require more setup than others. But all you have to do is check the web page button under the mods to go and see if there's anything special that needs to be done to get the mod up and running. Now, if you wanted, you could leave it there and you have a perfectly modded version of Tailspire. But we can take a few extra steps to optimize things just a little bit more. So the first thing we want to do is hide this logging console window here. So if we close Tailspire and go back to Modman, we can actually go to the config editor option here on the left, click on that one, and you'll see a list of all the configuration files that we can edit. Now for us, we want to choose the bepinx.cfg. We're going to click on that one and choose the edit config option. Is if we go to the sections at the top and choose logging.console and click on it, we want to actually click on where it says true, go down to false, click, and then go up to the top of the window and click save. And then if we go back to start modded again, this time it'll actually launch Tailspire. But if you notice, there's no login console. So that kind of cleans up the screen real estate and saves it getting too cluttered with windows, but we can do more. So we're going to close Tailspire again. And we're going to go back to our two mod man. Now, if you have this window here, which says Tailspire is launching via Steam, you can just click anywhere on the screen to exit out of it and just get back to the normal functionality of Modman. Now, if we go to the bottom option, the help option right here on the left, click at the very bottom, there's this string of text, which says it's for launching the game from outside the mod manager. What we're going to do now is set up Steam so that it doesn't have to open up R2 Modman to play a modded version of Tailspire. Now to do that, we're going to take this text at the bottom. We're going to select all of it, just click and drag from one end to the other. We're going to hold control and click C to copy the text. And then we can exit out of Modman. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to Steam. And if we go to Tailspire in our games list on the side here, right click, Go to properties, we can have this new window pop up. Now there's a box here for launch options. And if we click in that box, hold down the control key and press V to paste, that's going to paste in the text we just copied. We're going to hit enter and we're going to close that window. And we're also going to close the Steam window. So now when we double click our game shortcut here on the desktop, Steam is going to start up but it should launch us directly into modded Tailspire. And there you go. As you can see, it's got mods currently installed, listing our installed mods. We don't have Modman open. We don't have the console open. So as you can see, it's a much cleaner interface. There's not as much clutter clogging up the screen. 
Now, one thing to note is that if you want to add or remove any mods in the future, you will have to reopen R2 Modman and add them and remove them there. So actually, while we're talking about that, I'll just show you how you can actually remove a mod. So again, we're going to open up R2 Modman, select our default profile, go to our installed tab. If you want to remove one, you click on it and just click uninstall. Simple as that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up mods in Tailspire.